This is a tutorial on how to use the Alaris IV pump. Uh, all facilities will have different variations of these pumps, but they pretty much all work the same. So I'm going to walk you through how to turn this on, how to run a primary infusion, how to run an IV piggyback, and what to do if you need more channels. So to turn it on, you go ahead and push system on. First, it will ask you if it's a new patient. Some hospitals have a barcode system where you can scan your patient's information right into it. If not, follow your hospital policy to figure out how to put your patient's information in. I'm going to say no, just for our uh, practice. Next, it asks what location you're in. This will determine what medications you have available through the guardrail system. So. I'm going to say yes, we are in the ICU. That will give me a much bigger directory of medications that I am allowed to give because I'm in the ICU. Now we have special tubing for these pumps. I'm gonna show you how to insert the tubing into the pump. You lift up on this door and it opens there. Drop this blue part right down and then this blue square goes into here. Push that in. It doesn't matter if this white part is open or closed. When it's open, the tubing is locked. When it's closed, the tubing is open there. You also have your roller clamp here to lock it. Once it's in place, pull the door closed and push down on the lever. Then we will select the channel. So these pumps can have multiple channels depending on how many fluids or medications you're giving. You'll always start on the left side with channel A. And then if you add another one, you put it in at an angle here and then lock it in. This will now be channel B. So I'm going to hit channel select. It'll ask if I want to give guardrails drugs, guardrails IV drugs, or basic infusion. I'm going to select guardrails IV drug. Oh yeah, excuse me, IV fluids. This is a primary fluid, so that's where you'll find the guardrails fluids. Uh, guardrails drugs or medications are any other drips that you'll be giving. So we are going to give normal saline, 0.9% normal saline. It'll take you to a screen where it asks if this is correct. Make sure you are checking this against your actual bag. We'll say yes. Now you put your rate in by clicking these arrows that, sit, that are right next to where it says rate. And we'll say our rate from our MAR is 100 milliliters per hour. It is not going to be a drip rate. It will always be in milliliters per hour. And then underneath you have VTBI, which stands for volume to be infused. That is going to be the volume that you have in your bag. If it's a full liter bag, I usually put it at 975 so that it gives me a little heads up when it's almost finished. And then we hit start. The pump will then look at the fluid inside of here in that tubing and if there's any air bubbles, um, it'll beep. If there is an occlusion either at the patient's side or above this site, it'll beep like that. We're going to hit silence for now. So this is giving me an error that there is air in line. To fix that, you can open it and try to get those bubbles out. Once it's clear, put it back in. And then it'll check again and it will automatically restart the channel. All right, let me know when you're ready. Ready? Okay. 
Once we have our primary set up and running, we can go ahead and start our IV piggyback in the machine. The tubing is already set up up here as you normally would. To start it on the pump, you hit channel select, and then here you'll see secondary. Click that arrow underneath secondary and you'll find your medication. We have Cephazolin here, so I'll go ahead and click that. It will ask you what your dose is. So we have 1000 milligrams and 50 milliliters. We'll pick that. It asks you again if this is correct and you are checking to make sure that it's correct against your bag at this time. Yes. All right. We are confirming that we have 1000 milligrams and 50 milliliters and we'll hit next and it asks for the duration so we are going to give it over 60 minutes this will be determined by your drug cards or um, the medication book once you have that in here if you add the duration it will automatically calculate your rate and you can hit start Then just like you would in a normal IV piggyback, make sure that your fluids are dripping from the piggyback bag and not from the primary.